did that and I burned them and I almost started a fire. Hey, my name is Lore. I am a content creator living in the greatest city in the world. And welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll take you all around New York City and I'll record it all on my camera. Please enjoy today's video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, what up? My name is Lore and thank you so much for joining me Daily Uploads fam for today. If you guys don't know, I'm uploading videos every single day throughout the month of August. So make sure to check out the playlist down below to catch up on any videos that you missed thus far. Also, please make sure to subscribe down below. It means so much to me and you can join the fam and make sure you don't miss any future videos. So today's video is so fun and fresh. I have not done one of these in a very long time, but we are going to be doing a cooking with Lore today. Let's go okay well a little bit more in depth we're actually not cooking anything we're just going to be making a little like treat that i found from a youtuber that i watch alicia marie i'm gonna be altering the recipe a little bit but i'm super excited to show you guys this because it is such a great snack i don't know if alicia has a specific name for them or if they have a name and this is like already in a recipe that's like a thing but i am going to call them beetlejuice did i just come up with that right now absolutely we are going to be essentially making a chocolate covered date and it's not really hard this recipe should take you like maybe 10 minutes to actually make and then you're gonna need some freezer time after Afterwards, but let's talk about the ingredients that we need and get right into the recipe so Guys, this is literally all you need. It's a three ingredient recipe so easy You're going to need some pitted fresh dates You can get these at like Whole Foods something like that anything works, but make sure they're pitted also getting some vegan chocolate. This is my favorite vegan chocolate to get. It is just the Enjoy Life chocolate morsels. Basically, they're just chocolate chips. This is the dark chocolate, super great. I love Enjoy Life. They are free from all of these things down here. So if you have any allergies, definitely check out this brand because I'm obsessed. And then you just need some fig spread. You can put honestly anything in them. In Alicia's video, she put almond butter in them, but I don't like like peanut butter or almond butter or anything like that. So I really like a huge fan of fig for some reason. So I'm putting fig in them, but honestly you can put whatever you want. I tried it with apple butter before, also a really good one, but really you can put anything you want in the actual like filling part. So first things first, you can make as many of these little bars as you want, it does not really matter. Like you don't need to have a certain number of dates, but what you are gonna need to do at first is cut the dates in half. So I'm literally just going to be taking the dates, they kind of look like bugs to me, which is why I call them Beetlejuice. And I'm going to be cutting them in half so that we get basically two halves of the date. So we're just gonna cut a bunch of these little dates in half. Okay, so the dates are all cut. I'm just making two, four, six, eight little dates. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the fig spread and take like a little spoonful of it and basically put it into like the hole of the date that we cut. So you'll take one of your halves of the date, get like a generous amount of the fig spread and basically just like pack it all into the little hole, you know? You literally just do that. You don't need to put a lot, but I like to put a pretty generous amount inside each of the dates. The dates are all lined with the fig. They literally look like bugs. I kind of love it though. It's like kind of cute. So yeah, I literally just put the fig in the little holes of the dates. Like you can see, you don't really need to put a lot. I like fig a lot, so I put like a pretty generous amount. But the next step is we need to melt these chocolate chips into this bowl. There's not much left in here, so I think I'm just gonna put the rest of the chocolate chips in here. Yeah, there's like really not a lot. We actually might need to grab a couple more. And then some from bag two. And then we'll just spread them out a little bit. So you pretty much need just a bowl of chocolate chips and you're gonna be putting them in the microwave and taking them out in increments and making sure you stir them. Don't leave them in for the whole three minutes because well, I did that and I burned them and I almost started a fire. So learn from my mistakes, don't do that. I was just being stupid. So make sure you take them out and like stir them with increments. Yay, now we wait. One, let's see. All right, we're not like super melted, but we're getting there. I see some melting at this. We can put them in. Okay, let us see. Hopefully we have, okay, so we're starting to be melted. Love it. Is that hot? Can I do that? All right, great. So we're starting to get melted. So like you'll literally just mix and then it melts like as you're mixing. So 
we're definitely gonna need to put them in again. Alrighty, last kind of round in the microwave and look at that gorgeous chocolate. Oh yeah. Just mix it up. There are definitely gonna be a couple chocolate chips that did not get melted in that last round that honestly, if you just keep mixing it around for like a minute or so, they'll be melted with the heat of the already melted chocolate. Next step is just to line a container, does not matter, this was from like leftover Chinese food, but line a container with some tin foil and now for the fun part. We're gonna take each date and basically just pour the melted chocolate all over it. Your hands are probably gonna get messy when you do this. Don't burn yourself, because I also did that when I almost burned my house down, so try not to burn yourself. It does not need to be perfect. It's like you're eating them, so it's gonna get ruined anyways. Do the same thing, just like make sure it's like all good and fun, filled with chocolate. So the little beetles are all ready to be frozen. You are just going to toss them in the freezer for honestly as long as you want. I like to leave them overnight. So you can leave them overnight or for 40 minutes, like it literally doesn't matter. Just make sure they're frozen solid and we will check back in a little bit. Okay, let us see. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at those. Holy poop. Literally, holy poop. Oh my gosh, guys, they're done. Like, so exciting. Okay, I think it's time to do a little bit of a taste test. I will say also, when you eat these, the chocolate, like, will break if you don't put a thick enough layer on top of it. So just wanted to point that out. Oh, yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, let's eat it. Ready? Let's go. That's some good, good date. They're so yummy, such a great little vegan snack. I'm obsessed with them. Honestly, you can put whatever you want in them. If you made it this far in the video, leave a comment down below what you would put inside your date. I, of course, put fig. You can put peanut butter, apple butter, almond butter, any of those, but I wanna see some creations that you guys think you might put in yours. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. If you don't want to, I don't really care, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! Baby, this is simple. Baby, fuck the system, let's just